Welcome back. Okay, so from here, what we've got is basically a website with an external CSS that's controlling information. What we're going to do now is we're going to add an additional page to this website. First thing we're going to do is we're going to move this set of styles into our external style sheet. So we're going to do Control X to cut, come to the end of the line, Control V. When it comes to gaps like this, just delete them. Save the page. Save the page. Now, with our design, notice I still have the server up and running. If you've closed it, remember, you can go open a live server here. With our design, we're still looking at this at the moment, and we now have this box down here. What we're going to do is we're basically going to duplicate this. This, except we will clear it up a little bit. What we'll do is we'll basically remove the footer, remove this, extend the CTA to the bottom, and turn this into an image that will sit in the center. Okay. Now from here, we're going to put the same background image up that we had before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another image. I'm going to click to another page here, go to insert, pictures, get stock images. Let's go to, um, let's see what we've got in the words of space. Let's take that one. Okay, so from here, um, I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. I'm going to click on crop. Drop that to here. Oh, I'll do that. Okay, it's a little black bar. Pull that in to about there. Okay, click off it. Drop. There we go. Now, right click. I'll save picture as. Do next to here. So we'll call this guy space. So you guys saw that I just did then. So it's going to here. It's going to here. Change that to space with the C. Okay, now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to make our brand new page. So we want to keep things nice and tidy. So we're going to create a new folder. We're going to call it pages. So we put all of our pages inside the pages folder. Here, we're going to call this one space.html. Now, we're back to how we started off. So once again, from here, we can use Emmet to make our life easy. So exclamation mark and enter fills out all of this information. What we're going to do is we're now going to run a link command to the CSS. So we link straight to the style sheet. We're inside a folder, so we have to go back to the root directory, dot dot slash, into CSS, and onto the CSS styles like that. Mm -hmm. So now our pages are linked in that respect. So we're sharing these styles here and as long as we use the same class names, we're sharing them here. So we have a wrapper, and inside that it has a header, and then it has navigation. Now here, remember from our design, we're having a different CTA. So we're going to do that, and we'll go CTA, now let's just call it content. Content. Okay. So when this page loads, the wrapper, header, and navigation already exist. Now to design the content, we're going to need a new style. So here, do this. We'll create this, create the style up here. We know the width is going to be 100 VW. Now the height. Now the difference between this content and CTA content is effectively the footer, which is 15 plus our CTA, which means we're looking at 85 VH. Okay, so we put 85 VH and background color, let's give it white. 
and we'll save. So now we have our index page and we want to go to our space page. And we're going to put that inside our navigation section. To link pages, we use what's called an anchor tag, which means it's an A text. So it's an A keyword. We have lots of different types. The A one is basically what we're after. From here, we can say, go into the pages folder and find the space.html. Now, what we want to see on the page appears here. So here we can go space page. If I do a control S, all right, so now it's all saved. I can alt tab to here. And you can barely make it out. I'll highlight it here. We have it up here. So we need to fix that to start off with. So let's go back to our code. Now, this is all in our navigation. Our navigation doesn't actually have a background color. Let's give it one. So even though we've got it here, we could modify it inside here. So if I go dot navigation, go background color white and save. Now, as you can see, we have a background color here and our text is turned up, our link is turned up. If we click it, we go to the space page. Okay, now we'll click on the back button up there to go back, All right? Now, this was done to show you that a style written here in an external style sheet can be overwritten by an internal style sheet. And there is another way of adding styles, and that would be inline, which is where here we could go style equals background color. We can go red. And we just make sure that sits inside versus correctly. Save that, Alt tab. Notice how now it's red. So the styles, the closer they are to the actual element, that's what's gonna happen. But we definitely don't want red, so let's get rid of that. And so in regards to here, what we wanna do is we want to improve our A text so we can see it. Now we could do it as a nest, or we could do it just on the A tag. We'll do it just on the A tag. So this way we can be more precise with our links. So the first thing we're going to do is go text decoration, none. Okay, I'll save it and we'll take a look. Notice this has taken out the underline that was here. Now let's make it a little larger. Font size, 1.2M. Save, alt tab check. It's a bit bigger. Let's make it a 1.6. There we go. Now what we'll do is we'll change the color of it. So we'll go color and let's turn it into a black link and save. Now, as you can see, this black here links up with that. When we just run our mouse over it, notice how the cursor changes to a point finger, which is good, but we can also fix that up a bit more UI. So let's go over then modify the color. So we're black at the moment. Now in here, if we put in black, notice the little square box that appears. If we hold our mouse over it, we get a color picker. What we want to do is we want to change it just a little bit like so. Okay, now this is now turned into an RGB, so red, green, blue. Okay, let's, let's change that to 2EM, make it nice and large. So now, if I run my mouse over it, there's a slight change. Let's change it from there. Let's take it more this way, make it a bit more distinct. Okay, so now I've added more red to the text. Cool, still kind of small, so let's change the font family. So the font family is basically the font choice. So inside here, let's choose, uh, let's choose impact. Okay, save, change over. Now, as you can see, it stands out quite a bit. Okay, that's because we made the link nice and large. So this is how we make a link and we style it. Now, what we want to do here is we want to put the other image onto this page 
and provide a link going back. So from here, let's take a copy of this. We'll save the page, go into our style sheet, paste. Now we've already got navigation. Try not to duplicate your uh, styles in the same area. So we just move that up to there and remove that. Okay. Control S, save. So first things first, navigation and a link dot dot slash because we're going out of the pages folder back to the index. And here we'll go index save. If we alt tab, we have an index and we can now click between the two pages. Next, we're going to add the image into our content. So to do this, we're going to go dot image box. So we've got a box that we can control and let's go uh, IMG, which loads the Emmet abbreviation for image. Now it asks for the source. So here, same deal, we've got to go back to the root folder, into the images folder, select our space folder. Now Alt stands for alternative text in case the image doesn't load. Whenever you're doing uh, images, you always want to have an alt text for disability. Uh, so that way they can access this information as well. So here we go, space image. Let's save. So let's put our image box into play. So dot image box, let's give it a width of say 60 VW and we'll go height, auto. And now here, we're going to give it a margin of zero and auto. Now, what this means with margin, we can do top, left, right, and bottom. Here, this is the top and the bottom. This is the left and right. So if we save that, Alt tab, our image is now centered. So if we go back to our image index page here, click into here, we've centered up our image. If we wanted to add more information on underneath here, let's just jump into here. Let's grab a copy of our text box, control C. Underneath this guy, control V, control S. Okay, so now I've saved everything where it is. Alt tab, this is where our header box is. Notice how the page is now grown to take that into consideration. No, nope, there's nothing wrong with that at all. If we wanted to change our image more, we could get there and say, instead of sitting inside a 60 width box, we could change to a 30 width box. And as you can see, it shrinks it in. But 60 looks better. So let's go with that. There we go. Okay, and that now means that what we've done here is that you have once again seen how to apply styles to different uh, elements on a page, you've created a secondary page, you've now created navigation between pages, we've gone through the use of folders, how to navigate forwards and backwards inside folders, you can put an image on as well, and there's one other thing we could do to this, is we can apply an image directly to here, so if we go dot image style, these names by the way, they can be anything you want, um, style, we can go border radius 1em, and then we can apply it to our image using a class, image style. Okay, so now I've saved it, if we alt tab, notice how now the image has curved corners. We can make that larger, if we go say 10 em, make it really obvious. So as you can see, using just simple text in our HTML command and CSS, we can manipulate images as well. There is one more thing in regards to images that we have to take into consideration, and that's the actual size of them. So for example, if we take a look here, so I'm right clicking, go into properties, this image, 43 kilobytes, go to the details, 798 pixels by 595, nice and small. Why? Because we cropped it in PowerPoint. This one we didn't crop. So if I go into the properties here, notice this is 1.3 meg 
and the details here, its width is 3,300 by 2,475. What you would want to do is load this up and drop that width to about 1,000 pixels. That will also drop that size well under one meg. So whenever we're taking care of uh, images and stuff and media for our clients on the web, we always want to shrink them to something nice and small. 